to George from Stairs of Sampling and today I'm going to show you just a tiny bit of our uh, upcoming project which is called the uh, Macabre Solo Strings. We have violin, viola and cello. Here's how it looks like. So this is uh, this is the violin. As you can see it's marked in the GUI. It's recorded in the Sophia Session Studio. It has um, only two mic positions, close and far. And the very special thing, you can see that the range is quite limited for a violin. So the very special thing about this library is uh, it was obviously um, uh, inspired by uh, Camille Saint-Saëns' work at the Dance Macabre. So it has a very specific tone and it's played always on a high position. So in the case of the violin, it's played on the G string. So here's how it sounds like. Sorry, I have a reverb sent. I'll mute it. So this is just straight out of the box. Obviously, you can turn the legato on and off. So we try to capture this type of instrument and instruments, here's the viola, which are suitable for this uh, very dark and kind of gothic uh, sound. Here's how the viola sounds, sounds like. And finally, the cello, which is uh, played not on the lower string, not on the C string, it's played on the G string. And uh, it's it has a very different playing style than, uh, than the other two instruments and is very suitable for uh, slow stuff, so something like this. <laughs> again if you mute uh, not mute sorry turn off the legatos it has a very nice sound that you can use for pads or stuff like this so let me just uh, I used some patches from Tropar. Uh, these are Zebra. It's um, patches from our friend Matt Bowler. The Unfinished. Really nice stuff, by the way. So, um, yeah, here's just me improvising with some reverb, uh, the Valhau reverb. And, yeah, you can hear for yourself.
really easy, that easy to to play. So let's just listen to the viola. Okay. Um, again, I'll play it up. Just straight improvising. <laughs> And finally, the cello with this very specific portamento-ish type of playing. Enjoy. Mm -hmm. 